Hey friends, and welcome in to A Walk Through the Word, Daily Bread with Crystal Fry. I am your host, Crystal Fry, and in today's episode, we're looking at Joshua chapter 1, verses 5 through 9, and what this passage has to say about strength, courage, and success. Thank you for being here with me today, and I pray that you will listen with an open heart to hear the Word of God speaking to you. All right, friends, let's dive in. God's Word is powerful. The missing link is our identity in Christ. When we know who we are and who He created us to be, that is when we can truly walk in freedom. You are never alone. There is hope, and that hope is Jesus Christ. Today's episode is all about strength, courage, and success. We're looking at Joshua chapter 1, verses 5 through 9, which read, No one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous, because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their forefathers to give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. These are the words the Lord spoke to Joshua after Moses died, and Joshua was preparing to lead the Israelites across the Jordan River to take possession of the land promised to their forefathers. My friends, these words are over 3,000 years old, but they are just as true for you and me today as they were when the Lord spoke them to Joshua. In these five verses, the Lord tells Joshua to be strong and courageous, not once, not twice, but three times. This is something we should take note of. All of scripture is important and has significance, but when we see something repeated, multiple times within a particular passage, there is even more reason to pay attention. The Lord seems to be driving home this point to Joshua that he is to be strong and courageous. Why? Well, because he is about to undertake a monumental task. He is leading the Israelites into the promised land. And we're not just talking about a group of 40 or 50 campers. Remember, the Israelites have been in the desert for 40 years. They have greatly increased their numbers during that time. And Joshua is now responsible for leading all 2 million of them into the land that God has promised. He's going to need strength as their leader, and he's going to need courage because this journey will not be without challenges. Joshua's assignment was to lead the Israelites into the land promised by God and to see that they are all settled as the Lord intended and that they continue to love, serve, and worship the one true God. We also have an assignment, and we will need strength, and we will need courage 
to complete our assignments. Our assignment is the life that God has gifted us with, and it will not be without challenges. When we find ourselves up against those challenges, we must turn to the strength and courage that we draw from knowing that God promises to be with us, that he will never leave us, nor will he forsake us. We don't have to concede to fear. We don't have to be dismayed, discouraged, or terrified, no matter what we may be facing, because God says he will be with us wherever we go, from the mountaintop to the depths of unfathomable despair. God is with us. My friend, let that really sink into your soul. We get so caught up and so distracted thinking that we have to do everything on our own or that we have to face certain situations alone. But the absolute truth is that we never have to face anything in this life alone. Even if it's just you and God, honey, that is more than enough for anything that you could face in this life. Our God is the creator of the universe. He is the reason we have breath in our lungs and sunshine on our faces. He is the Alpha and the Omega. And all we need is him. So, where does success come into play with all of this? Well, in verses 7 and 8, success is mentioned not once, but twice. Remember what I said earlier about paying attention to things that are repeated? Well, success is referenced twice in these two verses. So, let's take another look at what they say. Verse 7 Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave to you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. And verse 8, Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. My friends, the key to success in this life can be summed up into two action steps. Number one, listen to what God says in his word. And number two, do what he says to do. He has made it so simple for us. Listen and obey. It is we who complicate things by focusing on the distractions of this world. That's why it's so important for us to be in God's word daily, to read it, to study it, to memorize it, and to meditate on it. Then we must take it a step further and live by the instructions given to us in God's word. Then we shall have prosperous and successful lives. Now, I want to point out here that it may not be to the world's standards, but it will be to God's standards. And that's way more important. Remember, we are living for so much more than this finite human life. What we do with our lives has eternal impact. And it's up to us to maximize our opportunities and make the most of what God has given us 
to the glory of his kingdom. Thank you, friend, for being here with me today to talk about strength, courage, and success. I'd love to know your thoughts on today's episode and what this passage means to you. So leave me a comment and let me know. Join me for our next episode where we'll be taking a look at Isaiah chapter 40 verses 28 through 31 to talk about tapping into God's strength. Until then. Hey friend, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It's my pleasure as always to be here with you. If what you listened to today resonated with you, if you enjoyed listening to the show, do me a favor, go ahead and like and subscribe to this podcast and leave a review. Those reviews are so helpful. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate each and every single one of them. And go ahead and share this episode out with a friend. Invite them along for a walk through the word and let's enjoy that daily bread together. See you tomorrow.